We are back. The theater room has been spray foamed. Um, they went ahead and did about two inches of closed cell foam on the roof line and on all the cinder block walls so that it adheres properly. And then over our wall that we share between the theater and our living space, we also did uh, fill up the studs with open cell over top of the closed cell just for extra soundproofing. So if you kind of look, you can see the difference. This is very hard, so it's just a really good for insulating. Where, where they did the open cell, I can literally push my fingers into it, so it's gonna really absorb the sound. Um, and then if you look where we did our buckets for our speakers, um, you know, they went ahead and did the closed cell around it, but I'm still able to cut all my speakers in. Um, all my lights and stuff are still able to be accessed through this foam. Um, and then if you come up here to the front of the room, where we had sealed off for the speakers to go. I have plenty of room to get my in-wall speakers in, um, but I didn't lose any of my R value because this is a, an exterior wall. And if you come back here where the media rack's gonna be, they really got a lot of spray foam to really seal up this exterior wall. Um, and then all my boxes and stuff are, are nice and sealed in. If you notice, I don't know if you guys have watched the first video, but between how the room sounded before the spray foam and now, it has a lot more echo to it. Um, and I think once we get the drywall and stuff on, it's gonna be really good for sound. But uh, we're gonna do a couple more videos showing the difference between the closed cell and open cell foam, just for people that don't know what the difference is. Um, so just stay tuned and, and kind of watch a couple more videos. Thanks.